What's up guys? Today we're talking about influencers getting called out for continuing to support James Charles, Tana Mojo spreading harmful information, and also Tana getting called out by Kylie Jenner. It's a mess, so let's get into it. So let's start off with James Charles. It's no secret that James' reputation has taken quite a hit this year. After everything that went down earlier this year with the whole Snapchat thing and the dating apps and the messaging fans, it just kind of left a really bad taste in people's mouth. James got called out for the same type of stuff back during the whole bi sister thing and it almost feels like he got too comfortable after his No More Lies video. A lot of people think James probably felt too invincible because people were afraid to call him out. Whenever a fan would try and expose James for messaging them, it was kind of just looked over because people were too scared to have what happened to Tati happen to them. James finally got that humble pie, as Shane Dawson would say, and he took a little break from the internet. I say little because he was gone for like, what, a month? And now he's back. Back on social media, back making videos, and even back on the dating apps. Well, influencers are actually getting called out for continuing to support James. Last week, Brant invited James to come on his huge platform and play Squid Games, and people are mad. Brant has a really young audience, and a lot of people just think it's kind of weird for James to appear on a channel like that, especially with all the against him. Even people in the comments are calling it out, writing, I didn't know we were collabing with now. Stop giving James a platform. He literally admitted to the behaviors people accused him of. This is really disappointing. James trying to play off the fact that he got canceled. Even Ethan called out all the creators from that video that are still choosing to support James. He posted a video to his highlights channel titled, James is being enabled. Ethan said he really doesn't get why all these big creators are still choosing to collab with him. He said it's sick that they don't care what James did and still want to be associated with him. You don't care that this guy's a on on Snapchat? Phase rug pull. I think they just don't want to believe it, probably. They probably but think But why like... even take the chance then? They believe it. How do you not believe it? It's all there. He admitted. He said, "I did it, <laughs> sister." He says, "I did it." <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. I'm not collaborating with him. But Brant isn't the only influencer still publicly supporting James. Manny Mua is wearing and promoting James's new merch, and he holds a very public relationship with James. A lot of people think it's actually kind of hypocritical, especially because Manny now has a drama podcast where he talks about influencers like the Ace Family but he won't bring up James. I get it, when you have a friendship with someone, it's really hard to actually talk about them, but people just think the public support is kind of strange. Jaclyn Hill is another influencer still publicly supporting James. Last week, Jaclyn dropped her new business venture, a jewelry line called Jaclyn Roxanne, and she sent PR boxes to quite a few influencers. One of those influencers was James Charles. Oh, look at the package that just came in. Jacqueline's new jewelry line called Jacqueline Roxanne. Congratulations, these pieces are so beautiful. Oh my God. It's just so weird. Jacqueline doesn't need James to advertise her products for them to sell. So why send your brand new line that you're trying to obviously make a good impression with and get people to buy? to James Charles, of all people. It just does not make any sense to me. Moving on, we need to talk about Miss Tana Mojo. Tana is once again getting called out for a ton of shit this week. Shocking, I know. Tana is getting called out for spreading misinformation about Gabby Petito and Brian Laundrie. I think this case really exposed so many new people to true crime. It got international news coverage. Gabby's family has really pushed the media to give all missing people the same treatment. And because of social media, Gabby was found and able to be returned to her family. Social media can have a really positive impact on cases like this but sometimes it can also have a really negative side to it. I think when a case gets so huge, sometimes it's easy to like sensationalize it in your head and it starts to feel like it's more of a true crime show than an actual real person with real families that are watching this all unfold. That's why people are so upset with Tana right now. After Brian Laundrie's remains were discovered, Tana got on her TikTok and pretty much started spreading really harmful and easily disproved conspiracy theories. And I'm not talking about harmless questions that I'm sure we all have right now. I'm talking about misinformation that could have been easily cleared up with just one Google search. 
The other day I tweeted, I know Brian Laundry is trying to pull a Joe Goldberg. And all of the responses were people would be like, why would you make a joke out of this? It's so fucking And I said, I'm not joking. I genuinely think something was placed there so that people would think the remains were him. I think his parents showed up to the forest with a tooth and a water bottle and whatever else they could find and a letter and a journal and whatever so that that authorities would think he's dead when they know well he ain't dead why did the parents not start looking until they had to because they know their son's not dead why were his remains found 24 hours after his parents started searching because he's not dead and today news sources confirmed that the remains were not him it is now rumored that the funeral that two people would have attended is going to be called off Brian Laundrie is pulling a Joe Goldberg. I guarantee you he's in like Paris, France right now, living his best life, getting a croissant. He is alive. And that's the tea. And as you guys can guess, a lot of people weren't too happy with Tana's TikTok. This isn't true, babe. We shouldn't be spreading disinformation like this. Tana, they literally did not say it wasn't him. Inconclusive results is for cause of death, not person that's dead. Y'all, please do your own research. This is nowhere near correct. Look, I know we're all super invested in this case, but at the end of the day, this is a real family that's on social media and might even come across stuff like this. It's bad enough that real justice of Brian sitting in a jail cell isn't possible anymore, but to put it into people's heads that there's still a possibility that he's out there when it's literally not true? is gross, especially by someone with such a huge platform. Finally, we have the story of the day, which is once again, Tana Mojo. Tana is getting called out for apparently being creepy. It's no secret that Tana is Kylie Jenner's biggest fan. Tana has always been weirdly obsessed with the Kardashian-Jenner family, and she's been trying to get Kylie's attention for years. Unfortunately for Tana, she kind of ruined any chances she had with that family when she talked about Tristan and True earlier this year. Tana basically tried to imply that Tristan was at a party cheating on Chloe and tweeted, where's True? Chloe was not a fan of Tana using her daughter to get likes on Twitter, so Tana ended up apologizing to Chloe on her podcast. Well, Tana went to a party last week and someone took a picture of her where you can clearly see her lock screen, and it's a picture of Kylie Jenner's baby, Stormy. Now, I honestly thought this had to be Photoshop. I know Stormy is a famous child, but it's kind of weird to dedicate your whole lock screen to some baby that you've never met. Turns out it's not Photoshop, and all Kylie's friends think Tana is really strange. A Kylie Jenner fan page that all the Kardashians and the Jenners follow posted the picture and captioned it, wondering why Tana Mojo's phone lock screen is Stormy. And Kylie Jenner's best friend, Stassi, commented under the photo and wrote, this is weird. And her friend commented back, writing, I'm uncomfortable. So you just know if Kylie's best friends are commenting that they're weirded out, Kylie probably knows and she might even feel the same way. A lot of people also agreed that the whole thing was really creepy. If I were Kylie, that's the moment I would send her a DM saying stop using my daughter's photos. I could see someone maybe having it as a cute profile picture or just in their gallery as a meme pic or something but not as a lock screen. Who makes someone else's child their lock screen? That's kinda weird. On the other hand, some people are like, it's not really that weird because Kylie put Stormy out on her platform. She's all over her social media, she uses her in videos and to promote her products. Tana actually responded to the backlash on TikTok, writing, it's a funny viral meme. My friends and I all did it. Some people take things too seriously. Proof I can just exist and get canceled. Now, I don't think people were trying to cancel Tana over this. They were just saying it's a little bit weird. I mean, personally, I wouldn't make some celebrity's child my lock screen, and I don't really see how that's a meme, but each to their own, I guess. Tana actually addressed the whole stormy situation during her live stream yesterday, and she doesn't really understand why people are so upset. Everyone's tripping over my lock screen. And it's so weird because it's like, like she's the most famous public icon. It's the cutest one and it makes, it just like made all of us happy. So like a bunch of us just like, you know, made it our lock screen and then everyone's like, that's so weird. And I'm like, but if you think about a child like that, like that that's so weird, how am I the weird one? Honestly, of all the scandals I've ever had, where I really just breathed and the world said, stop. I think this one tops it. Like. People really pressed about my lock screen. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> like that's insane to me. I don't even know. Anyways, guys, what do you think about all this? Do you think it's creepy that Tana has Stormy as her lock screen? Or do you think she's just some huge Kylie Jenner fan and you really don't see the harm in it? Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button because it really does help my channel and I'll see you next time.